Andromeda bridging is the most famous bridging method in all of Minecraft, and by far the fastest one out there. Or is it? Ever since Teddy Nader's viral video about Andromeda bridging surfaced the internet, it has been said that this is the fastest possible bridging method in the entire game, but what if I were to tell you that this whole time, the Andromeda bridge could be even faster? Well, that's exactly what I'm telling you, so if you guys do end up enjoying the video, please do consider subscribing, as we're getting insanely, insanely close to 15k, but with that being said, let's get into it. When most people think of Minecraft's fastest bridging method, the Andromeda Bridge quickly comes to mind, and for good reason. The method quite literally has the players doing turns, jumps, head hitters, and so much more all on the same bridge, and it's safe to see why people think it's the fastest, but the original viral clip of the Andromeda Bridge is nowhere near as fast as you might think. We can see from a mod Teddy Nader uses in the bottom corner of his screen that at the most he's getting about 4.4 blocks per second. This is well above average for a Minecraft bridging method, but it is definitely not the fastest, as this is really only about the speed you can get while god bridging. Now, even though that clip is looped and also pretty slow, it got me very, very interested in what was actually the fastest bridging method, and so I began my research. Of course, the method that instantly came to mind is telebridging, and more so, speed telebridging. Speed telebridging has been popular for about a year now, and honestly, it's improved so, so much over that year. Players are now able to chain tapped speed tellies, which are the fastest legit bridging method in all of Minecraft, as Andromeda bridging is really not physically possible. In order to complete the Andromeda bridge without hacks, players have to use something called TAS. TAS stands for Tool Assisted Speedruns, and the tool that we're going to be using is the Tick Rate Changer. You see, a standard Minecraft world has 20 ticks in one second, but with the Tick Rate Changer we can change this number to whatever we want. The Tick Rate Changer mod allows us to play Minecraft at a slower speed than normal, which makes something like Andromeda Bridging a lot easier. Now, I'm personally not very good with task bridging in Minecraft, so I hit up some of the best task bridgers to help me understand better how fast Minecraft bridging could really get. For a long time, most of the people I spoke to about Andromeda bridging seemed to think that the max speed you could get was 6.66 blocks per second. The reason it was believed to be no faster than this is because each Minecraft tick you can only place one block, and to move horizontally in the Andromeda Bridge you need one block below you and one block above you, meaning two ticks would be taken up, plus a third tick being used to look upwards to place the head hitter. Now, with Andromeda stuck at a speed of 6.66 blocks per second, it's in a very strong spot to be Minecraft's fastest bridging method, and even something like speed telebridging is not quite as fast. However, if while doing your speed tellies you tap your spacebar for each jump as opposed to holding down the spacebar, this becomes faster than Andromeda bridging. If we take the 6.66 blocks per second cap, and compare it to a tool assisted tapped speed telly, we can see that the tapped speeds get over 7 blocks per second on average, meaning they're just a little bit faster than the standard Andromeda bridge. Once I found this out, I was so surprised by the fact that speed telly bridging was faster than Andromeda, meaning there was a new fastest bridging method. However, that feeling was short-lived, as I soon found out after that there was an even faster way to do Andromeda bridging, meaning that Andromeda bridging might actually be the fastest bridging method after all. You see, not so coincidentally, one of the fastest bridges in all of Minecraft also happens to be one of the best using TAS. And of course, I'm talking about one of the most well-known bridges in the community, Dugao. Dugao was able to take a TAS speed telly bridge and mix it into an Andromeda bridge halfway through, but the Andromeda bridge he pulled off is one that nobody has ever seen before. What makes this Andromeda bridge so unique to any other seen before is the pattern. With the standard Andromeda bridge, you place one block below you, one block above you, do a head hitter jump, land, and repeat. With Dugao's strategy, however, you're able to do more than one block per head hitter jump, meaning that your character has even more momentum than normal and allows you to go way faster. With a normal Andromeda bridge, you're able to move 3 blocks horizontally every 9 ticks, but with Dugao's strategy, you're able to move 3 blocks every 8 ticks, and sometimes even 4 blocks every 10 ticks, which is even faster. And to move 4 blocks horizontally in 10 ticks is a speed of 8 blocks per second, which is completely faster than the tap speed telly. Of course, this bridging method is absolutely nowhere near possible without the use of TAS, and I just want to emphasize the fact that the regular Andromeda bridge as well will never be possible, and even if somebody does manage to pull it off, unless they're doing absolutely perfect turns, it will be nowhere near as fast as any regular bridging method. I've seen a few people say they're trying to learn Andromeda bridging, and honestly, it's really just not worth it. You know why? Because it's not possible. If we want to talk about the fastest possible bridging method for legit players, tap speed tellies are pretty much the absolute maximum, and with a speed of over 6 blocks per second, there's there's really not a whole lot players are going to be able to do in the future to improve upon their speed. We can see with task bridging, however, that Minecraft mechanics do allow for faster bridges. It's just something that's so insanely hard for humans to pull off in real time, and I don't know that it'll ever happen. 
However, if you are interested in task bridging and would like to try out Andromeda bridging for yourself or something similar, I definitely recommend checking out Helix's MC Play HD single player world and downloading the Forge tick rate mod for yourself. And with that being said, now you know exactly what the fastest bridging method in all of Minecraft is, so if you guys did end up enjoying today's video, please do consider subscribing as YouTube's been unsubscribing a lot of people recently, so if you did end up enjoying the video, please do check that you are subscribed. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.